This is for week July 20th to the 24th, and this is for ages four to six. All right, let's start crisscross applesauce. Let's rub our hands together. Sit up really tall. Big breath in. Om. All right. So today we're gonna do some cards, some more cards, different cards. Um, I'm gonna hold up the picture of a pose and then we're gonna see if we can figure out how to do it. I'm gonna start really simple. Let's do an easy one first. Ooh. You know that pose. What is that pose? Tree pose. All right, let's start in mountain. Mountain pose. And then tree pose. Make your big branches. What kind of tree are you today? I'm an apple tree. What kind of tree are you? Mountain. Let's try the other side. Other foot up. Branches. Mm, sometimes it gets a little breezy. Send your roots down into the ground. Mountain. Good trees. All right. Let's do, let's do this one. How do we do that pose? It looks like he's sitting and he's touching his toes with his legs straight. Let's try it. Sit on your bottom, put your legs out in front of you and touch your toes. You can bend your knees if you need to. And it's called river pose. We'll make our flowing river waves. Can we make the sound of river water? Use your breath to make the sound of the river. Touch your toes, river pose. Can we have big river waves? Like a very flowing fast river and then a slow trickle of a river and then super fast, super fast, woo! And then slow, very good. Let's hop on our boat and go down the river. Feet up, oars out, row, row. Row your boat gently down the river. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Good work. All right. Next one. We know this one, yogis. What is this pose? Airplane pose. He's balancing on one foot and the other leg is back and he's got his big airplane wing. Should we try it? One foot on the ground, one leg back, big airplane wing. So where should we fly? Way up in the sky. Where's our airplane headed? It's not going to Hawaii. Where are you going? Can we switch jet engines? Do a little hop? Other foot down, other leg back, big airplane wings. Sometimes it gets a little rocky, a little turbulent. Woo! Let's switch jet engines again. Hawaii is a long flight. Woo! Big airplane wings. We're way up high in the sky with the clouds. Oh, and we're really close to the sun. Let's say hello to the sun. Hello, sun. Hello. Can you say hello to your toes? Hello, toes. Hello. Reach up high, say thank you, sun. Thank you, sun. Thank you. Can you say thank you to your toes? Thank you, toes. Can we count our toes? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten toes. All right, you ready for the next one? She's making a shape with her legs. What shape does that look like? Does it look like a square? A circle? A 
triangle. It's called triangle pose. She's touching one foot and the other arm is reaching up to the sky. So let's make a triangle shape with our legs. Make a triangle shape with your legs. Touch your foot and then reach the other one up towards the sun. Oh, it's a good stretch. Triangle is one of the strongest shapes. I feel strong in this pose. Let's switch legs. Touch your other foot, reach your other arm up. Make yourself as long as possible. Triangle pose. Okay, let's see what's next. I'll give you a hint. This one goes. <laughs> Who breathes like that? It's puppy dog pose, down dog. Kind of looks like a triangle too, huh? All right, let me see your down dog pose, your big puppy dog. And let me hear your big puppy dog bark. Woof, woof, woof. Can you wag your tail? Woof, woof, woof. Can you shake out one of your legs? Can you shake out the other leg? Can we do three puppy dog hops in Spanish? Uno, dos, tres. Let's do a little puppy dog. How does a little puppy dog bark? Like a chihuahua? Big puppy dog. Oof. Oof. Can you take your puppy dog for a walk? Puppy dogs. All right. Mm, what's this pose? Dancer pose. This looks like a big kid pose. I think we can do it though. We just have to focus our eyes and concentrate. All right, dancer pose. Standing on one foot. Can you grab your other foot? And then reach. Let me show you from the side. Ooh. You can try it by yourself or you can hold on to a wall if you need to hold on to a wall or a friend. Dancer pose. I feel like a beautiful ballerina when I do this pose. We really gotta focus our eyes. Laser beam eye focus to one spot on the floor. Let's try the other side. Sometimes one side's easier than the other. Focus, yogis. All right. Let's do a resting pose after that. What is that pose? Sometimes we call it child's pose. Here it's called rock. Can we make a rock with our bodies? Knees to the floor, head to the floor. Rocks don't talk. Be as still as a rock. What a beautiful rock garden. All right, next one. Mm, let's see, oh, we haven't done this one in a while. It's got its belly button down on the ground. It's a scary underwater creature. What do we think this is? Dun on, dun on. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Shark pose! Put your belly button down on the ground. Put your belly button down on the ground. Make your shark fin. Hold your own hand behind your back. And then make your shark face. Rawr. Let me see your scary shark face. Rawr. Can you swim like a shark underwater? Dun -dun -dun -dun. Donut, donut, donut. Let's be a sleepy shark. Let's be a happy shark. Let me see your happy shark face. Can we be a sad shark? Can we be a surprise? 
surprise shark. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh, good sharks. All right, let's do the next animal. This animal is, uh, sharks are scared of this animal. They also live underwater. Do you know what animal a shark is scared of? What is this yoga pose? What is this animal? Dolphin, dolphin. Okay, so a little bit of glue on both elbows. Take your magic glue stick, put a little glue on both elbows, and then we're gonna stick our elbows to the ground for dolphin pose. Stick your elbows to the ground. Boop, boop, both elbows stuck to the ground and then put your dolphin fin up in the air. Can you click like a dolphin? That's how they talk to each other underwater. They click. Can you make a dolphin sound? Look at your toes. Do you see your feet? Lift your bottom way up in the air. Oh, good work, Yokies. Did you keep your elbows down the whole time? Okay. Oh, let's do one of these. Kind of looks like you're surfing. Big, strong arms. This is a warrior pose. Do we know which warrior this is? Warrior two. Looks like you're on a surfboard. Let me see your warrior two pose. Big, strong arms. Do you remember what we say in warrior two? We say, I am strong on the count of three. One, two, three. I am strong. Let me hear you. I am strong. Can you do a peaceful warrior? Wave up to the sky. Hi, sky. Hello. Good. Let's try it with the other foot facing forward. Can you bend the other knee? Reach your arms out like you're surfing. And what do we say on the count of one, two, three? I am strong. Nice and loud. Here we go. I am strong. Peaceful warrior, wave up to the sky. Hi, sky. Good work, yogis. Can you clap your hands? All right. We don't do this one very often either. What is this pose? Bridge pose. It's a medium-sized bridge. All right, so we'll lay down on our backs for bridge pose. Lay down on your back, and then you're gonna lift your bottom, lift your bottom, so lift your bottom high enough that a small boat could go underneath your, your, your bridge. Can you lift up high enough that a boat could go underneath your bridge? Do you know a song about bridges? London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Falling down, London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Can we do a little bit of a bigger bridge? Let's do a little bit of a bigger bridge, like this. Lift your bottom. Let's sing our song. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Oh, good work, yogis. Can you clap your feet? Clap your feet! All right, we're gonna have a Luna Moth visit us while we relax our bodies. Can you make your Luna Moth wings? And Luna Moths have antennas. Can you make your Luna Moth antennas? And then let's lay down on our backs, flat as a pancake, resting your body, closing your eyes. Luna moths only live for about a week, so it's very special that the Luna moth is visiting us. Let's close our eyes, close our mouth, be so quiet. Once we're resting our bodies, I'll play the fairy bell, and we'll see if we can get the magical Luna Moth to come visit us. 
When she hears the fairy bell, she knows it's time to visit. She knows it's safe and everyone's being quiet and still. This is Luna Moth's favorite place to visit because it's so peaceful, yogis. Remember, if you don't want to visit from the Luna Moth, you just say, no, thank you. Whisper, no, thank you. Otherwise, she's going to come visit quiet resting yogis who are very still and peaceful in their bodies. Luna Moth is pretty shy, so be very quiet. <laughs> 